An autumn feed budget is designed to help you to plan to have enough grass for feeding in October and November of this year and that enough grass is saved for early grazing in the spring of the following year. The goal is to build up extra cover on your farm in July, August and September for grazing in October, November and early the following spring. A key feature used in the feed budget is the use of projected growth rates. There are projected growth rates for Ireland by each of the four provinces for each week of the year on pasture base. These have been compiled using research and historical data. Now, if you want to create a feed budget, you look down the black menu on the left and click on this button, Feed Budget. So you can see on this account we're using for the video, we already have one feed budget created. And you can see here also that there's a link to a help document. So we'll just have a quick look at that. So you click on that and click again to open the PDF document. And it comes up. So it explains in a little bit more detail about why you might do an autumn uh, feed budget and what average covers you might want to aim for, depending on how your stocking levels are on your farm. So if you have further queries, it would be a good idea to have a look at that document. So to go ahead and create our new feed budget, click on this button, add new feed budget. First of all, we must give the feed budget a name. So as we already have a feed budget, we call this feed budget 2017 for video. Next um, area we need to fill in is the start date for the feed budget. Um, so we're going to uh, set it starting around about the 20th of August. And it also looks for an end date of the feed budget. And this is when the date at which you plan to have all your stock housed. Uh, so we're going to pick about the 19th of November. The farm area is the total hectares in your farm as per your paddocks. If you didn't want to include all your paddocks, you could click on this button here which will bring up a list of all your paddocks. And if you want to exclude any, just click the little green icon and confirm. But um, for our plan, we're going to keep all the paddocks in. Then it asks you about the farm cover at the start date of your plan. If the start date of your plan is a future date, enter an estimated starting cover for that date. If it is not a future date, enter the actual cover on that date. So we have an actual cover for around about that time, which is 570 for our sample farm. Then it asks you what region of the country your farm is in. So we're going to say our farm is in Leinster. And that will li link it to the predicted growth rates for Leinster that we've already explained. It is possible also to put in your own predicted growth rates if you have um, good information on your own farm. But for the moment, you should still select which province your farm is in on this button here, and you can change them later. The last item you need to um, look at for your feed budget is what um, groups of stock you want to include. We're just going to include spring milkers in our plan, but if you want to include other stock groups, you will click on this button, add new, click the drop down and pick whichever stock groups you want and add. But we're just sticking with spring milkers, so we click save. So now we have the feed budget started for the year. You can see our farm cover at start date was 570. Um, our plan starts on the 20th of August. All the dates or weeks are down along the left hand side and it runs until the 12th of November. Um, the feed budget automatically pulls in the information for your farm that is available for the date you create the feed budget. So it knows um, it has pulled in the area of our farm at 19.7 hectares. On the day we're creating the feed budget, we have 50 spring milkers, and it also pulls in their feeding feed intake at the date of creation, which was 16 um, of grass and 2 of meal. 
You can see also it has, um, because we clicked Leinster, it's pulled in predicted growth rates for Leinster in this column here. If you know um, accurate growth rates um, for your own particular farm, you can override that. To do that, you literally um, click, type in the amended uh, figures into the column um, into each cell there and roll down to the bottom of the screen and click update and then it will have your own um, predicted growth rates. Now with your feed budget you might ask what are you aiming for? So if you had a stocking rate of about three livestock units per hectare um, you're aiming for a cover of about 750 in mid-August you're aiming then to build it up to about 1,150 at about early October. And then you will be aiming to have a closing cover at housing of about 600 to 650. On our farm here, our stocking rate is a little bit lower. We can see in this column here, our stocking rate is about 2.5 livestock units per hectare. So we will aim for slightly lower figures. Uh, so our aim is about um, an at mid-August of about 500, so we had 574. Uh, we'll be aiming to build it up to about 1,100 in um, early October and to then to have a closing cover of about 550 to 600. The higher the stocking rate is on your farm, the higher the covers need to be. And you can get more information on that in the help document. Now, when you have created the feed budget, you need to tweak or adjust it then until you get it right. Um, so you can see here, at the moment, um, our cover is building up to quite a nice level of 1,115 in um, middle of October. So we're reasonably happy with that. But our closing cover is too high at the moment. It's 970 and we don't need it to be that high. So... The three, there are three variables on the feed budget that you can adjust. And you possibly can adjust your land or the hectares uh, size of your farm up or down by including or excluding particular fields or paddocks. You may be able to adjust the stock numbers. You may be able to increase the cow numbers or to decrease the cow numbers by drying off cows or culling cows. Or you may be able to adjust the um, into the daily intake of the um, cows by increasing or decreasing either the grass, the meal, or the silage, and you can tweak, keep tweaking that until you're happy with your plan and that your closing cover is as you want it to be. So in our case here, just for example purposes, we are going to increase our cow numbers and. Um, for the last four weeks of the plan, we're going to bring them up from 50 to 60. And at the same time, we are going to reduce our farm size down to 17 hectares. So we're closing off some paddocks for some reason. So when we've done that, we click the update button. And we roll down the screen to see how that affects. So we can see now our closing cover is 637. So we'd be much happier with that. And we build up to um, a peak cover of 1,115 on the 22nd of October. So we're reasonably happy with that. So it may take a lot more uh, tweaking than that to get your plan right, but keep working at it until you're happy that it's a good plan. So when you're happy with the plan, you click this green arrow at the top of the predicted farm cover column and a little pop up there um, comes up that says copy predicted to target so we're going to click that now and that's going to copy the figures from our predicted farm covers and set them as our target farm covers so you can see now they're starting to appear in that column So that's our feed budget now created and we're happy with that.